If you see someone from afar, make an instant judgment and assume your role is to make their life better. In other words, if you miss out presence, attention and mystery, then almost inevitably you're going to focus on their deficits rather than their assets. You see only what a person can't do or doesn't have. Whether or not the person themselves would mention this observation, among the 20 most interesting and significant facts about themselves, you instantly identify it as the principal one, perhaps the only one. You define them by what they're not, rather than by what they are. Thus, if you walk past a person who appears to be homeless, you could make instant assumptions centred on their obvious deficit, a home. But if you'd paused and offered presence, attention and a sense of mystery, you might have found that they travelled thousands of miles, living on their wits to find relative peace and comfort, having fled a country where their identity, family or convictions made life impossibly dangerous and subject to hostility. They might be highly qualified, enormously talented, deeply wise. But instead of delighting in these assets, all you choose to see is their deficit. Delight is the habit of perceiving a person's assets and not dwelling unduly, hastily or disproportionately on their deficits. Being with a person means seeing the best in them, patiently waiting for their true colours to emerge, trusting them to be a person of unique gifts, believing them to be a person of dignity and offering opportunities for them to reveal who they really are. Delight means trusting that a person already has most of the qualities they need for their own redemption and creating a space in which those qualities may be honoured, celebrated, stretched, developed and relied upon.